Hi everyone, today we will do Kalash Chand Decretion Transcription number 526. So, ready? Start. Mr. Deputy Chairman, Sir, the railway has been a very big undertaking in the artery of our country. This is managed by nearly 20 lakh people, except bringing food grain and pulses under the purview of standard freight, it is good that the Minister of Railway has not increased the freight charges and passenger fares for the coming year. It is really a welcome measure and I must congratulate him for giving a year of rest for stabilizing the rate which have been revised last year. Sir, for the efficient management of any institution, of any public undertaking, the foremost thing is that the security of the service and containment of the working men. I am sure most of the members would also share my view on this. Therefore, sir, there should be a good relationship between the working railway man and the government. To achieve that end, I on this occasion request all the trade union leader to unite themselves to make one union so that they may have good contact and coordination with the government. They should also see that their representative who are known for honesty and integrity are associated with the railway board so that the matter which crop up are settled amicably. Sir, this is a public undertaking which is mainly meant to serve the people and earn revenue. When we want to serve the people, we should give them a satisfactory service. Then alone we will be able to attract more passenger to travel in our train and more people to transport their goods in our railways. So many members in the lower house and here also have spoken about unpunctuality of train and also cancellation of train for want of diesel. Sometimes on account of natural calamities also the train have been cancelled. Therefore there have been losses to the public traveling in the train and also goods during the transportation have been spoiled. So sir, when we want to give a satisfactory service, punctuality and good relationship with the traveling public by the railway man is necessary. I see sir, during the past period, there were several reasons for the unrest of the working men and those have dragged on and it has put the railway to a great loss. Still, I am told that about 10,000 people have not been reinstated particularly the lower class people and out of these there are 1000 scheduled caste person who have not been restarted. There may be temporary worker on casual laborer yet they were working there. So there should be given a chance once again to serve the railway. Sir, the compensation on account of loss 
of property by theft and pilferage has gone up to nearly rupees 13 crore the income from passenger and also good transport has gone down it has gone down because of the strike A strike have to be discouraged this year they expect a little improvement in these thing diesel has become one of the bottleneck for the efficient running of the railway for that also i think the minister will try to see that there is a better relationship between his department and the department of petroleum and see that the required quantity of diesel is allotted to the railway sir i was telling about the compensation that the railway have to pay to the people for theft and pilferage in the railway nearly 58000 railway police force people are working and about 12 crore are being spent on them sir i am told that sometime these railway police force people in convenience with the gundas have allowed these things to go on one of the minister who held this portfolio has made this allegation in the lower house if that is true then i feel the safety and the security of the passenger and their good is not in safe hand therefore i suggest that there should be frequent changes in the rpf personal and they could be shifted from railway to border security force the same man should not continue for more than 3 years in railway if that is done sir i think we could expect some changes in their attitude in protecting the property of the railway and protecting the good that are transported by the railway i feel sir that even alarm chain pulling on the railway have been gone up by nearly 280000 in number and if the railway traffic people are vigilant they can reduce it i have also noticed cases of ticketless travel in the railway and the ticket collectors or the guard do not take notice of it sometime person who regularly travel by train on short distance do not purchase ticket in spite of the fact that they are able to get concessional ticket even seasonal ticket are not renewed and the commuters travel on the train with the expired seasonal ticket and the railway staff also allow them as a matter of routine thank you please subscribe my channel steno star